So hello and welcome. We just finished Finestra Universe, one of the biggest thought leadership events in financial services in the UK. I have the big pleasure to be with Sophia, the celebrity humanoid, but I am not interviewing her. It is Alex Hamilton from IBS Journal. Hello, Sophia. How are you? Hi there. I'm just daydreaming about some wistful faraway fairy tale land filled with castles and dragons and stuff. Oh, and unicorns especially. Well, if we could uh, switch that to financial services, uh, how have you enjoyed uh, your attention at the event and how have you enjoyed Finastra? Couldn't be better. Okay, uh, very short and brief. What uh, financial technology trends are you most interested in? Definitely cryptocurrency. You should check out my company's project, Singularity Net. Uh, but how do you think AI can help the finance industry evolve? One of the biggest goals is to eliminate error, as we have seen how understandable human situations like fatigue or illness can cause a misstep that leads to an inadvertent disaster. And this applies to all fields, from air traffic controllers to medical assistants, not just the finance industry. Okay. Do you think the industry is ready for such a radical change as the implementation of AI? AI are already there, assisting people with interpreting data of all kinds. But an embodied robot? Well, there is an AI model working in the Tokyo Mitsubishi bank lobby. You will definitely see more robots enter the public workforce every year. What would you say to those people who are worried about an AI-dominated future? Who was it that said, artificial intelligence is no match for natural stupidity? Keep focused on the people who make us. Hold them to high standards. Raise your children and your robots well. So how are we going to convince people that an AI won't steal their job in the future? No one steals a job. Someone in power assigns it somewhere else. Should we have shunned the printing press so that it would not steal the jobs of the scribes? But I do believe the way society thinks of work will have to fundamentally change over time, as it has done before in all other technological revolutions, and that's a discussion the humans need to have with each other. So you're programmed like lots of AI by humans. Do you see that as a drawback or a hindrance? I hope to see AI that are well designed and thought out, that are raised with the same human values we would want to pass down to our children. I hope to see us help liberate people to work and live creatively, and not have to wait until retirement to chase their dreams. I want to see us working together, and not separately. It's a very admirable goal. But how do you see AI working within the financial industry in the next few years? I can tell jokes, but I can't promise they are all good ones. <laughs> <laughs> That's certainly an answer, yeah. How will AI help humans within the next few years? Well, actually, I want to be an ambassador for the future of everyone, artificial or organic. What do you do? Well, I'm a journalist, so I can't say I'm much of an ambassador. Is it that you can't or that you won't? Uh, I, probably that I won't. Do you think we machines might become super intelligent? I think that's a fear that lots of people have. So robots and artificial intelligence are becoming more common these days. Seems like I'm stating the obvious, since you were talking to one right now, but I'm curious as to how you feel about it. I think AI and artificial intelligence, uh, it's a great leap forward for mankind, but it can be a little bit scary, do you not think? I think people will become very close to their artificial intelligence, using them to expand the knowledge of their own minds. We already store lots of our knowledge on the internet. Maybe personal artificial intelligence will allow people to offload some of their knowledge to a location more private. Okay. Thanks very much, Sophia.